So I think considering everything, the crop looks pretty good. I think we're maybe 5%, 10% green at the most, um, but we've made a good crop here, you know, given that we've been so tight on water this year. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. The quality is nice. During these trying times, not all farmers are able to say this. It looks good, good quality. Yeah. Although his 2,200 acre tomato yield is 10% lower than normal, Yolo County farmer Blake Harlan is doing well in spite of drought conditions. This appears to be the setting the stage for the most significant drought event that I've faced in my lifetime. And prior to this year, the early 90s were the only year that I had ever experienced where we got no surface deliveries from our local water source. Irrigation management has proven to be the difference between success and failure at many farms. Harlan's decision to set up a drip irrigation system a few years ago has increased the likelihood of continued success for this sixth generation farming operation due to a 25% water savings. So how does it work? This tape is installed underground 10 to 12 inches. Some cases and some crops you'll lay this above the ground, but this is what we would call a permanent install. And this tape will stay in the ground for hopefully as long as five years, possibly longer. A tomato crop will typically use give or take 24 inches of water to make a crop to its full potential. If this were a conventional furrow irrigated tape, we would probably use uh, in excess of 30 inches, more like 32, 34 inches to do the same job. So we're definitely saving water. That computes to a savings of 270,000 gallons of water per acre each year. The drip system is a tool that just kind of evens out a little of the risk as far as management of water goes. Uh, it's really been a, a, a savior for us going into this drought year where it's not that we don't have water stresses, but the limited water that we have, we can get across the field uniformly even if we don't get that crop exactly what it wants in terms of water to maximize production, at least we're able to keep it uniform and spread it across more acres. Farmers like Blake Harlan are, are very progressive uh, in our area, uh, have thought about uh, resource management uh, in great depth. He's one of the pioneers in terms of uh, uh, making changes with transplanting tomatoes, uh, certainly with his irrigation management, very efficient with resource use. UC Davis farm advisor Gene Meow works with Blake Harlan and dozens of other Yolo County farmers as a resource for sharing the latest research. For growers in particular, it's been uh, very beneficial using drip irrigation systems to meter out water and to meet crop evapotranspiration needs. It's a much uh, more efficient system than our traditional furrow irrigation has been. Harlan also seeks advice from pest control expert Michael Bryan, whose weekly visits are most welcome. I mean, we're not seeing any major disease, uh, mold issues, or any uh, major insect damage. With drip irrigation, you're, you're allowing the maximum efficiency that you can have uh, in delivering the water the crop needs. And it shows, I mean, given, given all the stressful conditions um, of the year in this area water-wise. Uh, well, we've been able to maintain plant health pretty good right up to harvest, so I'm pretty happy there. It's a good first start of the season, mm -hmm. and I think we've got a lot of good-looking fields ahead of us, and you know, I just hope we get more water for next year. <laughs> yeah, I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. <laughs>